Conversion of flip flop is one of the important technique to to convert one of the flip flop to another form. Suppose I have a SR latch, SR flip flop, and I want to convert this SR flip flop into the JK flip flop. So I know that uh, if like for a normal circuit. Uh, if I have a SR flip flop and I have a two AND gate, three input AND gate, so uh, what I need to do, I need to connect the output with the input and I can make it the JK flip flop. But this is what you have to remember. But if you don't want to remember and you want to directly convert based on the logic requirement, so you have to convert one flip flop to another one. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss how we can convert one flip flop to another flip flop. Okay. So let us try to see. Yeah, again, uh, we can also re uh, remember if we talk about the JK flip flop and the D flip flop, what we do, what, what, what we did. In the SR flip flop and the JK flip flop, uh, from these two flip flop, we can make the T flip flop and the D flip flop. Suppose if I have a SR flip flop and if I have connected both the input with the help of one inverter, so I can make it the D flip flop. Similarly, if I have a JK flip flop and if I can connect both the inputs, to the same logic, then it can become the T flip flop or toggle flip flop. So this is what we can remember. But sometimes there may be some different kind of requirement, output requirement. In that case, we have to convert it from one flip flop to another flip flop. So let us try to see what is the conversion uh, way uh, how we can convert one flip flop to another one. So suppose to convert one flip flop to another one, we need a, a flip flop that has been already given. Okay, so the given flip flop is required. Suppose I want to convert uh, JK to SR. What it means, the JK is already given and I have to convert it into the SR. So to convert one flip flop to another one, definitely we need some uh, logic circuits. Okay, so one logic circuit is uh, conversion logic block is also required that will help you to make it the, the required or the desired flip flop. Let me tell you, suppose I have SR flip flop and to convert this SR flip flop into the D flip flop, why, what I need? I need one inverter, okay? So that inverter is the conversion logic that help you to convert the SR into the D flip flop, okay? So this is what uh, the exit conversion logic is required that will help you to convert into the another form, okay? And if you know all these things, so that, will, that you will have uh, some input, that you will have some output and there may be some possibility then outputs are dependent on the input as well. So this kind of logics or this kind of conversion is required. So uh, in some of the flip-flop, maybe this feedback path is not needed. In some of the flip-flop, this may be needed, okay? Uh, in some of the flip-flop, maybe only one input is needed, okay? So these all are the com permutation combination that we have to consider. Suppose if I have to convert uh, SR to D, okay? So in that case, SR has two inputs, but D has only one input. So here I will have only one input, not the two inputs, okay? Similarly, suppose I have to convert D to SR. So what it means, in the given logic, I will have only one input, not the both the two inputs, but at the input, I will have a two inputs. So I have to make an arrangement in a such a way that the, this logic can uh, provide the input to this flip flop in a such a way that it can act as a SR logic. Okay, so this is how we need to think about and we have to convert this thing. So let us try to see what is the procedure that will help you to convert one flip flop to another flip flop. Before we understand all these things, let us uh, consider what are the different uh, regulations that need to be considered. Yes, so these are the input of flip flop that to be constructed. And these are the output of the constructed flip flop that we have to. Okay. Uh, the conversion procedure, yeah, these are some of the simple things. Uh, obtain the characteristics table of the flip flop to be designed. Okay. Uh, the obtain the excitation table of the given flip flop to find the input values. Okay. So these two are very important things. Uh, find the relationship between input of the given flip flop based on all these things. So these are some of the regulations. So I don't I, I need to read it again. Uh, when I will apply all these things, then uh, we'll check it out what kind of the, the steps are required to convert. Okay, but yeah, this, this six stage we have to consider when I'm considering to convert one flip flop to another flip flop. Okay, so the conversion procedure is not that much important. We should know how we can do that. So let us take an example 
and uh, we'll apply all this conversion procedure on that con that that, uh, that in that example so that you will be able to understand the things okay yes but you have to remember like uh, a given flip flop and the conversion logic these these two are the required thing and the characteristics table of the uh, to be designed flip flop and the excitation table of the given flip flop so remember this is not like the characteristic table of the given and the excitation table of table of the given you have to you you should know the characteristic table of the design uh, to the flip flop to be designed and the excitation table of the flip flop which is already given so if i want to make uh, sr to d what it means sr is already given so here the uh, sr latch should be here so this should be sr and uh, for sr i have to come up with the excitation table and the characteristic table i should know the characteristic table for the d flip flop so this is the process that i have to consider i leave it let us try to take an example and might be you will be able to understand what is happening okay so let us try to consider one example uh, that convert the sr flip flop to jk flip flop okay so as we can see here uh, we need to know about the characteristics table of the uh, uh, the flip flop to be designed in the excitation table of the given flip flop okay yes uh, i just wanted to tell you one more thing uh, the number of min terms depends on what is the inputs of the required flip flop okay let me repeat it again what i am saying suppose the flip flop which i want to design let us assume i have a two inputs so in that case the number of min terms will be 2 to the power n plus 1 so this much of min terms are required i just told you in the previous class okay so this much of min terms are needed while designing the flip flop okay if i have only one input in that case 2 to the power uh, uh, yeah so if i have an input let me an input so it will be like 2 to the power 2 what it means the four min terms will be required okay so now considering these things in our, our mind because i have to convert into the jk flip flop and we know that jk flip flop has two inputs so we need 2 to the power 2 plus 1 what it means eight min terms are needed to convert or to make this flip flop okay so this is how the eight comes now if we know the, this eight so we need to check what are the min terms so let us try to write all these things so suppose if i have a eight min term so it will be like m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 and n7 so these all are the min terms now what i have to do now i have to write this i have to complete this first these three things i have changed some i have used some color code to understand the things i will tell you what is the meaning of all this okay so first i have to complete these three parameters because the next state output because i have to make the jk flip flop okay so i have what kind of input i need at the jk that i have to consider so j and k these two are the input and the output of jk flip flop what output i need for the jk flip flop that i i have to consider it again okay so if i have a because see here uh, i have a two inputs and one qt so total i know we have a eight min terms so if i have a eight min terms so i need to make the table in a way like 0 0 0 so j and k is 0 and qt can be 0 j and k is 0 and qt qt can be 1 and so on so uh, i need to prepare this table something like this 000 001 010 011 010 011 0 1 0 1 0 1 what i made here yeah 000 uh, sorry 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 so these all are the tables what this table indicates this table indicates that the jk 
are zero, J and K both the inputs are zero, but there are two possibilities for this case. Like the QT can be zero or QT can be one. Second, if you see J and K are zero and one respectively. In this case, we can have a two possibilities either output, either the QT can be zero or QT can be one. So considering these things, we need to prepare these three tables. So the first four column can be written like this directly. You do not need to do anything. Now, this QT plus one is now the important parameter. Okay, because here I just wanted to check if the J and K is equal to zero and the present state is zero for the output. So what will be the next state for the J K F flop? Okay, so this table, this column will be prepared based on the characteristics table of the J K flip flop. Let me repeat it again what I'm saying. Okay, because see, first four columns are easy to uh, make it okay but this qt plus one will be designed with the help of characteristics table that i have to design and i have because i have to design the jk flip flop so i need to use the the characteristics table of jk flip flop okay so here i have a characteristics uh, table not equation characteristics table of the jk flip flop okay so if i have the characteristics table of jk flip flop then let us try to replicate it as it is okay so this is what we have already seen in the previous lectures what is the characteristic table of jk flip flop okay so uh, q is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 k is equal to 0 then i will get qt plus 1 0 if j and k are 0 j and k are 0 but qt is equal to 1 in that case qt plus 1 i will get 1 similar Similarly, if J and K is equal to 0 and 1 and QT is equal to 0, so the output will be 0. Okay. And if it is 0, 1 and the QT is equal to 1, then I will get 0. Okay. Similarly, uh, J and K are 0, 1 and the QT is equal to 0, so I will get 1. And similarly, J and K are 1, 0 and the QT is equal to 1. In that case, I will get 1. Last two cases, 0, uh, 1, 1, and the QT is equal to 0, so I will get 0, and uh, sorry, 1 and the 0. So 1 and the 0, and this is how we can prepare the fourth column, fifth column, okay? So the fifth column is basically prepared with the help of characteristics table of the JK flip-flop, and the JK flip-flop is nothing but the flip-flop which we want to design, okay? So this is how we can make it. Okay, so in case if you have any doubt at this stage, then you can ask the questions. Otherwise, we can move ahead. So uh, see, these three columns are basically nothing but that directly you can prepare without uh, doing anything. But to prepare this uh, this QT plus one column, you should know the characteristics table or the characteristic equation of the JK flip flop. Okay, so this is what you need to use. Okay, uh, instead of like suppose see, uh, you can also do one more thing. Uh, if you don't want to use the uh, <coughs> characteristics table, you can use the characteristic equation as well, because we know that the uh, Q T plus one for the J K flip flop is nothing but it is the J Q T bar plus K bar Q T. Okay, so because if you see here, for all the combinations, you have J, K, and QT. So you can calculate the QT plus one. Okay. So if you don't want to go with this characteristics table, you can also use this characteristics equation. Okay. To prepare this, this column. Okay. So this is what you can do. So both, both is fine. It is not required that you have to write the characteristics table. Directly from the characteristic equation, you can do that. Okay. Now, because now the next step is, once we are ready with this one, the next step is to calculate the input of SR flip-flop. Because see, I want to make the JK flip-flop with the help of SR flip-flop. So that is why, because I have a SR flip-flop and I have to connect some logic to the input of this SR. That is why here, input of SR flip-flop is considered. Here, what this, this JK flip-flop was considered, if you, you can see here, JK is written in brown. What it means? 
I'm considering this characteristics uh, equation or characteristics table of the JK flip flop. So these two tables are made with the help of the characteristics equation of JK flip flop. Okay. Now the next step is uh, use of excitation table to get the input of this one. Okay. So the next step is the excitation table of SR ledge because I have to convert it from the SR ledge. So the SR ledge characteristic equation is something like this one. So this is uh, sorry, excitation table is something like this one. Okay. So this table, this column, and this column is prepared with the help of QT and QT plus one, whatever we have already here. That is why I have just considered here. So these two columns are uh, common in both, like for the design, like what we want to design and what we already have the flip top. So these two flip top will be common. So once we are ready with this QT and QT plus one, based on the required JK flip flop, then you can use it as uh, uh, output for the existing flip flops. Okay. So that is why uh, I have used this one. So these are nothing but these are the output of uh, JK flip flop or SR flip flop. Because if you see in the, in the uh, previous slide, let me go back to the previous slide. Uh, the output which we can see here, this is common for both. This is common for this as well, as well as the complete converted flip flop. So the outputs are common for uh, both the flip flops. So that is why we have considered like that. Okay. Now, once we are ready like, uh, like this, so I need to use the excitation table of the SR ledge or SR flip flop to prepare the rest of the two columns. Okay. So now let us try to see here. QT and QT plus one is equal to zero. Then S and R are nothing but they are zero and the cross. Yeah. Just I have to refer this excitation table. Okay. That is why I have used the color here, blue, so that you will be able to understand. Okay. So zero and zero that will give you the zero cross. Okay. Next one is uh, one and one, one and one will give you the cross and zero. Zero, zero, that will again give you the zero and cross. Next one is one zero, that will give you, what, one zero, that will give you the zero and one. Zero, one, zero, one means one and zero. Okay. And then we have one, 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 one means, they don't care and the zero. Okay. Next zero one, zero one means one and the, uh, sorry, zero one means zero and one, one and zero. And for one zero, I will get zero and one. Okay. So this is how the, the input of SR ledge will look like. Okay. So this is the next step that I have to follow. Now, because these two things are now uh, fine, we have prepared this table which is needed. Okay, this table which we have prepared. The next step is now to uh, find the K, uh, K map of the S and R flip flop, what we have here. The next step is to find the K map, or we need to simplify this S and R function. Okay, so here we have a K map. Okay, so let us try to fill it and try to simplify it. Okay, so if I want to make the uh, K map for S, then it will be like zero cross zero zero one cross one zero. So this is how we got this thing. Okay, so this is what the K map will look like. Okay, similarly. If you want to make the KMF for S, the uh, uh, sorry R, we have already made for S. For R, we have to follow the same kind of procedure. So it will be cross zero cross one zero 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 and one. So this is how the KMF for R will look like. Now, once we are ready with this, then we have to make the pair of these two things. So let us try to see in the first K map, we can make pair like this. So this is the pairing that is possible. Okay. And if you try to simplify it, so this function that looks like 
yes let me write it so s which is the function of j k and the q t is nothing but this is the uh, uh, just solve this one that will it will come something like j q t complement so s is nothing but j q t complement after solving this pair similarly we have to make the pair for r as well and for this i need to make a pair yeah here this is the only possible pair that we can make here so we need to make the function for r as well and here r is the function of j k and the q t okay j k and the q t and if we try to simplify that will come yeah j will cancel out and i will k q t so the k into q t will be the r okay now because we know what is s and what is r so what it means to the s input what i have to do i have to connect a j input and the complement of the output and that is nothing but that that is same as the s input so if we try to simplify this one so see here j we have taken one of the input and i have to end it with the q bar okay and this is what we are getting j q t bar okay similarly uh, here r is nothing but this is the k into the q t and whatever the logic we have made here this is nothing but this is the designed j k flip flop with the help of s r flip flop okay so let's take an example yeah we, we we know the fundamental of like how we can convert s r to d flip flop okay so but yeah just see here in in the previous example what i considered i considered to convert the uh, two input flip flop from the two input flip flop okay so two to two so that is why we got eight min terms uh, similarly i just told you uh, if i have to convert sr flip flop to d flip flop in that case the total number of min terms requirements are four only because uh, the the required flip flop is having only one input so two to the power one plus one that will give you the four so total four number of min terms will be requiring to prepare this flip flop okay so because here if we have uh, in in the last example we had eight min terms but here we need uh, four min terms okay and the reason i just told you why uh, so if we have a four min terms so the min terms will be m0 m1 m2 and m3 okay now and d and q t directly we need to do like 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 now the next step is to calculate the q t plus 1 with the help of the uh, the characteristics table of the d okay the characteristic table of d is required to fill this column okay because the the, the flip flop which i want to get that characteristic table, uh, table is required okay so let us try to write the characteristics table of the uh, deep flip flop and after using this one how the structure will look like we know that like the uh, yeah so uh, qt and d are given over here so if both are 0 0 then qt plus 1 that will be the 0 0 and 1 that will give you the 1 uh, 1 0 that will give you the 0 and 1 1 that will give you the 1 so this is how the qt plus 1 uh, will be now once we are ready with this qt and qt plus 1 we need to get the value of s and r and for that purpose we need the excitation table of s and r okay so the excitation table of uh, uh, sr flip flop is needed uh, here we have a 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So, considering the same thing, let us try to see here. 0 and 0 is here. So, 0 and 0 will give you the 0 and the cross. 1, 1 will give you the cross and the 0. Okay. Characteristics equation is fine. 
zero zero zero. I think there is some mistake here. Q T plus one. I think uh, Q T and a Q T plus one. There is a problem. I think this is not the exactly what I have to make. There is a problem here. I think characteristic table. I have made it wrongly. Uh, characteristic table of JK flip flop is uh, sorry D flip flop is uh, Q ah okay I, I used opposite that is why it is coming uh, sorry I need to check it I think I uh, to prepare this Q T plus one I made opposite here we have a D uh, D and the Q T and I consider Q T and D that is why. This QT plus one table is not correct. Okay, let me prepare the QT plus one table again. Uh, uh, because order is different, that is why it is coming wrongly. QT plus one is like see here. Uh, D is zero, and the QT is equal to zero. D is zero, QT is equal to zero. That will come zero. D is zero, and the QT is one. D is zero, and the QT is one. That will give you the zero. Okay. Uh, D is one and the QT is equal to zero. D is one, QT is equal to zero. That will one and one and one that will give one. Yeah, now this is the correct one because uh, because of the uh, opposite order, I made a mistake before. Okay, now this will be the uh, exit QT and QT plus one table. Okay, once we are ready with these things, that I have to use the uh, excitation table of SR ledge to prepare these two columns. So zero and zero, that will give you the zero and the cross. One zero, that will give you the zero and the one, okay? Next one is zero one, zero one give you the one and the zero, and one one, that will give you the cross and the zero. So this is how the uh, columns will look like, okay? Once we are ready with this one, so now this, uh, we need to prepare the KMF for S and R, okay? So the KMF for uh, S will be something like this. Let us try to see what will be the KMF, uh, zero, zero, one cross. So zero, zero, one cross. Similarly, the KMF for R is the cross one, zero, and zero. And if we try to simplify it, uh, we can make a pair something like this. And the second pair will be something like this. Okay. So uh, if we try to get the function, the S, which is the function of uh, not X, Y. Yeah, this is the function of D in the QT. This is the function of D and the QT. This is. This is D and this is QT. Similarly, this is D and this is QT. Okay. S is a function of D and the QT. And this is nothing but this is coming around D. Similarly, R, which is the function of D. And the QT that we are getting is nothing but D complement. Okay. Once we are ready with this one, what I have to do? S will be directly connected to the D and R will be connected to the D complement. So here we have S is nothing but that will act as a D. And to get R, I have to use one uh, inverter to make it the D flip flop. So yeah, the final one is the D flip flop. Okay, again, the, the question is same, like you can use any of the clock if it's, it is not given, but if it is given, you have to use that clock only.